Let's go to second problem. Ano this one? Kung sa pasipasan niya. But still conceptual yung ako na ito na sample problem. If the chart is rate uniformly, so wala na siya. Category 2. Along the curved road from 25 at A, namira at A siya. Then at 50 na lang siya at C. Pero ang behavior of oscillation is uniform. Determine the oscillation at curve B. Okay, so meron ako tayo sa curve, curve, curve. So, ano mo? So, A, again sa B, again sa C. Pero ang given A to C from 25 to 15. Pero ang question niya, in between sila, which is point B, which is may given na ang radius of which one is written. So, this one. Let's do this. Uh, 1.5 Given um, VA plus 25 meter per second VC 15 meter per second the radius of curvature at point B is 300 300 meter. This is the given, which is uniformly along the curve. The acceleration is constant. So what's required of us is the acceleration of the current. The acceleration. What is the specific acceleration? Is it normal? Is it tangential? Is it tricycle? We don't know. What is the acceleration? Acceleration. So, um, we can do this by first finding out an acceleration of constant, correct? We are given the distances, not in terms of time, but distances. So from A to C, we have 250 plus 50 is 300. So we can use one of the three equations for category two, which is d squared minus d squared plus minus two as. That's a general notation, especially kung wala siya belong sa x and y na frame reference, freestyle siya. Maring maring niya ako notation. So, basically, na bakan c a or a specific. So at C, we have 15. At A, we have 25. So, plus minus, I'll give it one. Plus lang. Na B positive niya. Tari. Uh, ano na siya na, hindi mo siya tumunakan. Hindi mo dilay. Just assume na sila yung positive. So, positive also then, correct. So, negative then. Pero kung negative, hindi mo dilay mag interpret. So, then. So, plus na nga siya to A. Then, the distance is 250 plus 50, which is 800. Meters. meter per second. Now we can solve for the deceleration, the negative result. This squared minus 25 squared divided by 2 by 300, that is 2 thirds. Negative 2 thirds meter per second squared. That's the deceleration. But the question is, when the SA to C is point B, you can solve first the velocity at point B. So, it's going to be where you are. I connect to the either sa point A or point C. Point A na lang. This lang yun siya. Point B, point A, and start. Plus minus 2AS. So, B is squared. We have 25 squared. Okay. We have negative names. Ito ba lang sa negative siya? Pero pwede man dito kung susunod. Pwede ko negative two thirds. And then the distance is 250 lang. So for our PP is between the process of 25 to 15. That is 25 squared minus Four times two fifty by three. Square up. 
17. 17 and 0 meters per second. So between just 25 and 15. 25 and 17 and 15. All right, we have the PV. We have the right acceleration. Acceleration is composed with components AX, AY if possible, A and AT if possible. First, the pattern is normal. A normal acceleration at point B is VB squared and the radius of curvature of point B. So this should be 17.08 squared divided by 300. A normal acceleration is 0.972. Are you also um, uh, following? I mean, are you also solving? Give us a bit of a salam of solutions. So, um, now that we have normal acceleration at point P, and what we see, tangential acceleration at point P, which is constant. Actually, the like point B, it comes uniformly accelerated. I mean, this is the tangential acceleration at point C, point B, and point A at any point between point A and point C. But specifically, this is a point B. This is equivalent to two terms. Indeed. Two thirds meter per second. All right. We have normal, we have conventional. The next thing that we can do is solve for the result. Four plus two point one eight. One point one eight meter per second squared. Now let's go back to the question. We're gonna meet with an object. The question is determine the acceleration of the chart P. When we say acceleration automatic machine, magnitude and direction. And let's specifically ask and determine the magnitude of the acceleration. Okay. But based given, we cannot know only on the orientation, space, only on directions, and the magnitude. The best we can do now is this. This. 18, 18 meter per second squared. That's the acceleration of the car at point B. We don't know the direction of the road. We need to show more the hand. How about the wing back? Or the wing back? How about the wing back? This direction is the direction, which is 2.36 meridian. No, we don't know the normal direction of the oscillation, but we can definitely know that since we have some some we some um, reference frame, so x is one. The local power to move road is we have a location relative to x and y axis. If only d dimension. Then we would know easily from the direction suspects. <coughs> since we are you can know that we are moving now. Since we are now going to say 1.18 meter per second squared, so that's the acceleration. Although, well, strictly speaking, we see acceleration in some direction. But it is easy, yeah, that's the answer. <coughs> 